In this video, we are going to see how to add Salesforce leads to Microsoft Excel. So let's say you're using Salesforce as a CRM, where you want that every time there is a new lead added, this information should be added in your Microsoft Excel sheet as a new row. Now, how can you do this? By integrating these two applications, and the same can be done using Pavli Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Salesforce, and your action application would be Microsoft Excel. Now, how can you do this yourself? To understand this, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, the first thing that we have to do is we have to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we click on enter, it will take us to the landing page of the software. Here on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can simply sign in. If you are a new user, then you will have to click on sign up. Now here at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now, since I'm an existing user, I'm simply going to click on sign in. And then I have reached the all applications page. Since we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software, let's click on access now. And once done, here we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a blue tab, create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box appears, which is asking us to name this workflow. So here our objective is that we have to add Salesforce leads to Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to write Salesforce leads to MS Excel. And now I'm going to click on create. So as we do that, here we have reached another page which has got two very important events, trigger and action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Trigger is basically what makes your workflow start and action is the response to it. So here my first trigger application would be Salesforce. I'm going to click on this. And then the trigger event here would be new lead. So once done, I'm going to click on connect. So here Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the Salesforce account. For this, I'm going to click on add new connection and then connect with Salesforce. Now, since I've already logged into my Salesforce account, it is only asking me for the access. So you first log into your Salesforce account. So you won't have to log in right now. Okay. Now, once the authorization is successful, here it is asking us for the instance URL. It's like a URL like this. And uh, here your instance will come and your instance is basically a number like AP 16 or AP 6. So for this to understand what is our instance, I'm going to first go to my Salesforce account. So this is my Salesforce account. And here I have to go to the setup. So I'm going to click on setup. And then on the left hand bar, we have company profile and then company information. So once done, here, if I scroll down, you can see the instance. So the instance for this integration is AP16. So I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect. And here, when we have to map the data, so it is saying if your instance is AP16, then URL is this. So I'm simply going to copy this and paste this. Suppose your instance is something else like AP6 or AP12, you just have to change the number. So now I'm going to take you to my Salesforce account once more. And here I'm going to create a new lead so that this information can be shaved in the API response. So here let's scroll up. So I'm going to click on contacts. And then here you can see create new. So I'm going to click on the drop down. What do we want to create? We want to create a new lead. So let's click on this. And here we are supposed to fill in the information. So the lead owner is Pabli Connect Salutation. So if you want to provide a salutation, you can. If you do not, then let it be. Now here, let's say the first name is testing demo and uh, or testing. The last name here is demo, demo, then the company. So here, let's say the name of the company is Pabli Connect. And uh, then if you provide, want to provide a title, you can. What is your lead source? Let's say it was a phone inquiry. Then we have the industry. So I want to select technology, annual revenue, and then the text field, then the favorite game. If you want to add a favorite game, you can. Here is the mobile number, phone number. So let's say the phone number is one this and then the email address is testing demo at pablitudes.com and uh, once done here the number of employees is let's say 50 
lead status so you have to decide if your lead has like you haven't contacted or you have contacted or you have closed or not converted you can select so here let me select open not contacted so once done here you can provide the address information so let's say it is a random street and uh, then you have a random city then we have the postal code and then here we have the country then we have the state so once we have filled this information you can fill in these information as well as of now I'm just going to leave it and I'm going to click on save so once saved I'm going to go back to public connect and click on save and send test request so the moment I do that, it will capture the last lead which we have created on our Salesforce account. So here you can see the name is testing demo, last name demo, first name testing. If I come down, this is the name of the company. This is the address. Then we have the mobile number, email address. Then we have the lead source, status, industry, annual revenue, number of employees. So we have received the entire data. Also, we have received the created date. So basically, when was this lead created? So we have the created date as well. Now, once we are done with this, we want this information to be shared on our Excel sheet. So I'm going to choose my action application here as Excel. And then the action event here would be to add Zo to worksheet. So we already would have a worksheet and we just want this data to be created as a new row in that worksheet. Let's click on connect. And here again, Public Connect is asking to connect itself with Microsoft Excel account. For this, I'm going to click on Add New Connection and connect with Microsoft Excel. So here, let's select the account and then provide the access so that it can authorize the same. I'm going to click on Yes. And then you can see here that the authorization is successful. So once done, let's come down. And now we have to select the workbook and the worksheet. So now I'm going to take you to my Excel account where I already have created a workbook. <clears throat> the name is Leads and the sheet name is Sheet 1. Here we have the following columns, first name, last name, email address, phone number, lead source, status, industry and date of creation. So going back to Public Connect, let's map this workbook. I'm going to click on this and it is Leads. So this is my Excel sheet. And since there was only one worksheet in that workbook, it will automatically get captured by the system. So now here you can see that it has captured the worksheet. And here we have to start mapping the data. Mapping basically means that we have already received this information in the previous step. Now we are just going to retrieve it. So let's click on this, go to our first step. And here the first name is testing. Then we have the last name. So here the last name is demo. Then we have the email address here. So the email address here is testingdemo at pablitudes.com. Then we have the phone number. So this is the phone number. And then we have the lead source. So here you can find the lead source as phone inquiry. And then we have the status. So I'm again going to go here. And then here we have the status, which is open, not contacted. Then we have the industry. And what is the industry here? It is technology. Now we have to map the date of creation. If I take you up and show you the date of creation here in the API response, it was not in the simple format. So here, first we will have to format the date. I'm going to add another action step here. And this time the application is actually a feature by Pabli, which is date time formatter. Let's click on this. And now the action event here would be to format date only. We do not need the time here. Let's click on connect. And now I'm going to map the date, which is here. So date of creation. This is the created date. Let's click on this. And now this is exactly in the same format. I do not have to change this. And to format here would be that I want it days, date, month and year. So let's say I want it in this format. I'm going to click on this and click on save and send test request. And here I have received my date. Going back here, I'm going to first save this. And here I'm going to quickly refresh this page once. And now I'm going to map the information. So here the date of creation would be, I'm going to go to the second step and this is the date of creation. Once done, let's click on save and send test request. 
So as soon as we have done that, we have received the API response, which means that if this integration process was a success, this information should be added to our Microsoft Excel sheet. So let's go to our Microsoft Excel leads sheet and I'm going to refresh this page. And yes, here you can see that we have received this information. And uh, this basically means that our integration process is a success. But we also need to check it in real time. For that, I'm again going to go back to Salesforce here and I'm going to click on create new and then create a new lead. Once done here, we are going to fill in another information. Let's say the first name here is Pabli. This is the first name and the last name here is demo. Then we have the company. So company is Pabli Connect. Then lead source this time is our partner referral. Then we have the industry. Let's say this is banking industry. Annual revenue is this. And then we have the favorite game. So we do not want to put this. Here the mobile number. So let's say the mobile number is this. Now the email address is pabli demo at pablitudes.com. This is just a demo email id then lead status let's say it is working you have already contacted the person it's in progress number of employees is only 30 right so once done this is the address information let it be same and now i'm going to click on save so once this lead has been created what should happen i should receive this information on my excel sheet so going back to my excel sheet i'm going to refresh this page once and here you can see that we haven't received this information. For this, I'm going to take you to Pabli Connect. And as I scroll up, here you can see that this trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes, which means that the trigger application that we have used here has a polling time of 10 minutes. And this workflow will run and check for new data after every 10 minutes. So now we are going to wait and have some patience. And don't worry if you do not receive your data instantly because after 10, 15 minutes, you will receive your data. So now I'm going to take you back to my Excel sheet. And yes, here you can see that we have received the information. So finally, I hope that you have understood the entire process and it was a very simple two step integration process where we had chosen this uh, feature by Pabli, which was date time formatter just to format the date. Here, my trigger application was Salesforce and my trigger event was new lead. My action application was Microsoft Excel and my action event was add row to worksheet. Now, if in case you have any doubt, you can refer to this workflow. The same workflow is given in the video description. And also, you can clone this workflow and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any suggestion or advice, you can always write to us. I hope this was helpful. To watch more such videos, you can always subscribe to our channel, which is there on YouTube. If you have any queries, you can write to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to know our pricing plans, then you can visit us at this particular site. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.